ladies and gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It is uh, the Nigerian Pro League Season 7 and it is the Hammer Time Playoffs. And you already know what time it is. It is action time. Um, still a little bit under the weather, but, you know, I'm still going to provide you guys with all of the action. Right, uh, live from Iran, Joe. Match 1, Map 1, Day 3. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the NPL. It is the Hammer Time Playoffs. It's, the... <laughs> it's going to be an interesting night. Ooh, looks like some action is already on the way here. And uh, we saw this yesterday. The guys from uh, Gun Machine and Dare Esports running into each other once more. Another time, Laser falls away, gets caught off by Mami there. And first blood, unfortunately, will go to Dare Esports. They will get the first elimination. Mojito is still in the air, but the onslaught is looking like a possibility. A little bit of a spray there. Ooh, that's a beautiful spray from Zombie. He does get the connect connection into... Ooh, switches to the shotgun there, tries to take one out for the team. Or Dumodu has been knocked away there. Reset. It's looking like a a big possibility there. Owing to the sheer numbers numbers advantage coming through for their esports. Beautiful touch from Zombie. Two down now. Is he single-handedly going to take out all of their esports? They are playing as three. Uh, fortunately, I don't think I got these here. Is she here? She's the only one that can probably save them. And he's very, very low on HP. I might have. I can't get uh, to that reset on to uh, to Dami. Dami's still knocked away. Where is Mojito? Where you need him? This is the time for him to make something happen here. That's not going to be the case. Federal falls away, courtesy of Side Ben. Vintable already having uh, everything work out for them for the time being. But the resets show again. Zombie cannot use the shotgun. It's not going to do the trick. Where is Mojito when you need them? They instead of the left and to the right. And he's going to be stopped. Wow. Where is Mojito when you need him? Man, that game could have gone so much more differently if this guy was with his teammates. But that's not the case. Agathe was even uh, surging on from the back. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, it's going to be wraps for Gun Machine once again at the hands of uh, Dare Esports for the second time in a row. Fortunately, it seems that that's not going to be the case for them. It looks like Amani's uh, his thing will not be... Uh... Oh, it looks like it's all left to Sting, actually. Ooh, Sting has been spotted by four portions. We saw this happen yesterday, but it looks like... Uh, the guys from Black Man, but there's only two of them. And the man, he's already uh, tucked away into the water. He's drowning out. So it's a one versus four here. And how far can Sting take this, though? How does he have a gross? Oh, yes. Update, of course. Remember when the brother was going drop? Ooh, takes one. And that grenade was perfect from Ijebugari. But unfortunately, they did still lose someone. Every single time they lose someone to Black uh, Mamba, every time they lose someone, you know, it's, it's so uncanny that they lose a player every single time they take the engagement against the guys from Black Mamba. Uh, more Af African legends and foul play again in that uh, northern uh, side of Savani. They've uh, got themselves uh, lacked in. 
looks like smoke has been uh, sent back into the lobby i'm not sure but i feel that might be the case again this is one of those things that always happens far play will always come out on top crusade has already gotten one elimination cozy black rumsey and solo playing all the angles playing all the corners here but uh we've seen this you know play out time and time again It's, uh, it's all a matter of time. Our player have been uh, circling around looking for that opening. They, or, they should already have the opening there. They've got one elimination already. Shouldn't uh, stop them in the tracks. We're about to find out. And uh, that's the danger of, uh, you know, African Legends uh, position. They're, they are on the defensive. They're very, very... Uh, holding on... Oh! What a grenade that was. Beautiful grenade onto Crusader. Cuts him down to about 50% HP. But it's not, uh, it's not critical enough. It's not enough to change the entire tide of the game. Solo has been spotted by Cozy. Black has him on the rooftop side. And he is trying to just to perch through the smokes there. But he should also, also be very careful. He does have the sights. Oh, that's perfect. And that is the danger of Solo. He's been chilling too long. That grenade was perfect, and now they have him. Not exactly where he is. Should have waited for the uh, grenade to hold hold his position back, but uh, it's not too ideal for them to circle. But there's an opportunity here for African Legends to at least pursue a rebuttal here. Ooh, Solo gets caught out finally. He was the most exposed and now foul play. Surely they will take the engagement. They will crack the code open. But Solo does, has to, does have to be very careful depending on how he wants to breach this. Beautiful shot to the S12K. Shuts that one away. Prophet already on the ground floor with a spray from corners there. Well, uh, I believe Prophet was able to make something happen on toward. But a uh, grenade onto the side there will uh, fall. I believe that was Cozy Black. He got uh, knocked away. But the reset. It's like it's going to be a big possibility for something to happen here. Might be getting uh, dragged over. Foul play. As they are looking for that opening. Oh, surely he's been spotted. Oh, beautiful grenade. But the DBS follows suit. Turns away to run. He turned away to run from the ops. Wow. Running from the ops while they are right in front of you is crazy work devious work i must add on solid army here they've uh, been looking up from yesterday's performance they're already up to four eliminations i think they just got rid of harshi sports just outside of here and i was uh, unfortunately i did miss a little bit of that action but uh well, will be more a little bit of uh, an interesting turn of events here but most of the teams are just uh, settling in uh, nicely everest would be at a very ideal place to be right now Super ideal position. Playzone will be shrinking up in a couple of minutes. And then we'll have a general idea of where this playzone is going to be wrapping up. But, you know, we'll take a, a lot of resources from these teams. But on Solid Army already starting very strongly here. Four eliminations. We'll uh, bump them even further up the leaderboards, as you can tell. But there's more to it than that. They already know. It's going to be a, a testament to their success. But they are playing a, a nice position, but uh, a little bit too by the edge, if you ask me. Call finally uh, getting their hands dirty, trying to locate uh, where they are taking all of this action. Can't seem to find them just yet. Ooh, praise. Getting hit. And Honcho will take a hit as well. Another one bites the dust. The Preys have not necessarily had the best start so far. Joy Boy will follow suit. Cole will uh, catch them off guard. And I believe that will be the end of the Preys. 
And back into the lobby they will go. Unfortunate scenes for the praise. They've not necessarily had the uh, best footing so far. But I uh, am... Uh, A, a center a central position plays has shifted like i said everest would be the most ideal place to be right now now atrox would have to deal relatively uh the invincibles would relatively have to deal uh, very surely now with their esports have they uh decided to breach onto the scene their esports have got some eliminations in the hand right now grenade over the side from psycho tries to send Dami all the way back and a strong defensive position here. This grenade might do the trick. Yes, it does. Beautiful grenade from Psycho. And now their esports have branched into the scene. Another grenade over to the top. That one hurts as well. Holding the corners there. Odumo do black. Onto the backside. He's going to be dropped as well. Psycho. Two for two now. Invincibles looking to give us another masterclass. As they will try to hold off the corners here. Dumodu Black is in serious, serious trouble. He's been spotted. Agate holds the off angle there. But Psycho managed to get the confirmation somehow. Onto the corner. Beautiful grenade again. Hurts him. Dami falls away. Invincibles about to perform a two versus four. Onto their esports is only Agate left, I believe. He tries to spray through with the S12K. Can't seem to connect the shots. Can't seem to find the dot. Psycho playing through the corner. Drops her away. Invincibles? Absolutely cooking. They were absolutely cooking. I have no words, but that was absolutely brilliant from Psycho and that guy. He is that guy. Five eliminations for the Invincibles at the expense of a def solid defensive play. All of the loots they've been looking for just came delivered at their doorstep. Vehicles, everything on, on smoke. Wow. Ooh, looks like a tryout squad and fake got into a little bit of action there into the western side. Looks like a... A lot of bodies got dropped here, but I think they made it out. They did manage one elimination here. I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, there are some bodies in the area, I think. Yeah, tryout squad. Oh, it's, oh, it's still, still on. Okay, the the, the, the the violence is still on. Fake is still trying to get their numbers up. Shanks, uh, unfortunately, could not be saved. Now, grenades following all over the place. I believe that should be an offensive. Yes, it is an offensive, beautiful grenade to follow. So, oh, that's a perfect one now from Dakuda. Drop saves down to the ground. Spray is good. Over to the side. Hits him again. Beautiful touch. Jin Mori backs away but takes the bullets straight to the head. 7.262 straight to the back. And the UMP from offline will send them all offline. Back into the lobby they will go. Try out squad. What a wrap. What a wrap solid defensive position from tryout squad absolutely beautiful four eliminations to them at the expense of fake what a play that was Now, uh, there is going to be a, a lot of work to go around here. Like I said, Everest would be the best place to be. And speaking of that, the Invincibles are already there. They have picked a nice, nice location here. But this is going to be very, very difficult for them to defend as a duo, you know, as a two-man squad. It's going to be super, super hard for them to work something around here. But um, I'm, I'm curious to see how this is going to work out for them. Hopefully, something turns up. Hopefully something turns up, but uh, we're going to keep an eye out. You know, we're going to keep a, a big eye out to see how this uh, these guys perform going forwards. But uh, Guards of War also making their rotation from the northern side. Uh, 
think they should be able to play a little bit of a defensive position but four portions now getting sights onto the guys from Cole they are trying to work uh, and hold the angles there to circle back again skinny he's trying to breach as well Cole who have to play seriously on the defensive line Zella it's too far away can't play off to the back line but he might be looking for that opening Jabu Gari now makes the advance why is he prone okay he has been spotted actually so no element of surprise here smoke's already starting to come out and now it's an opportunity again to circle back but the Molotov cocktail immediately starts to burn fortunately for Zella he hops into his vehicle to find a better angle find a better position light is still alive there to hold on to the corners but now uh, you do love to see it You do love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You do love to see it. Zella has been uh, called out there. Light will take a serious hit. Gano as well takes the next hit. And now three for three. And Zella is going to have to control XJP from that danger. And four portions will uh, reap the fruits of their labor. You can't even fault them for that one. They will snatch that one away. Now the player has moved towards the northern side, shooting range up for grabs. Foul play will should be enjoying this, but they already made a rotation deep into the heart of the circle. Most of the teams are caught out in the south. Mojito is still in the south as well, but he's all alone. And now, uh, and Solid Army looking for that uh, opening. We are rotating from the south, but uh, it's not too late for them. Gods of War now. And the guys from Foul Play getting into it. Crusader takes a hit from Fierce. And now Solo's off to the back end. He might be getting a, a stray grenade there. But this is a very, very tricky, tricky place for them to take engagement. It's going to take a lot for them to work through this. But uh, Guards of War know exactly what they want to do here. They know exactly how defensive they want to get. There is a... Uh... An opportunity for Guards of War now. They will uh, descend to the buildings in front and uh, occupy this position. Solo, unfortunately, can't uh, quite do the same. He has to reposition. He has lost one of his teammates, or rather two of his teammates. So he will have to make a quick buck and uh, reposition with Rumsey all the way out there into the, the back into the center of the circle. Zella from Cole is still alive. But for how long? Four portions. Still playing it slow into that uh, southeastern part of the circle. You can see the guys from uh, Tryout Squad equally in the uh, southwest. And now on Solid Army making their rotations inside. It might be an opportunity for them, but they might be running into the guys from uh, into the guys from Foul Play. Somebody's refueling his vehicle there, but uh, I think they will uh, make the move and uh, adjust the position. 4-1-1, trying to play the high ground. Would be much more ideal. For them to play this high ground position and play it defensively we are by the edge of the circle and uh, I've, never, I've never necessarily been the advocate for playing you know by the edge of the circle but you know it is what it is it do be one of those things comes but once but on solid army are doing exactly what i was expecting earlier you know but uh they are by the edge so they will be forced to move very very soon invincibles are just uh beneath the hillside so that will take a little bit of a waking moment for them to decide where they will play next once the play zone moves Ooh, towards the north, it shifts even further. Tryout squad have the had the right idea. They're already making the move. I'm curious to see where they will park the bus here because they are already tanking and taking some blue zone damage. But the rotation is inch perfect from tryout squad. Dakuda and offline, the last two left, but seven lost. And RSG locking horns again. We've seen this, seen this happen a couple of times in the past couple of days. But now Mystic. How far can he take it? There's just two of them left. Quilla 
is uh, playing off the front side. And Mystic will have to play a little bit of cover behind, but they do need to hop into their vehicles and do need to find a better position to deal with the guys from Seven Lust. As they're fortunately for them, the reset has not uh, been able to take place just yet. But Smokey's trying to make a, ro a rotation towards that western side. But offline takes a serious hit. Another hit. Invincibles somehow stopped tryout squad in their tracks. But what caused that rotation though? I, I really thought these guys were in a compound. But they actually made a move to this position. And uh, it looks like tryout squad ran into them. And uh, now the eliminations, ladies and gentlemen, have gone up to seven. This is a two-man team. Absolutely tearing through. Quilla has been discovered by Seven Lust. And RSG, I believe they are just down. Are they down to one? Yes, they are down to one. It's going to be Mystic that's left. He did uh, manage to escape the danger. And on Solid Army, I'm, lo I'm loving their rotation. It's been absolutely spot on so far. But they will need some big numbers. They will need some big points. Ooh, okay. So this is a very solid position that 234 has. He might be able to spray a couple shots into the window. It would be much more ideal. <laughs> But I am loving the splits coming from on Solid Army. As you can see, 2, 3, 4 in front. Uh, the rest of the team at the back. 4, 1, 1, 9, 1, 1 and Babalawa playing all together at the back. This is an improvement from what I've uh, seen in the past two days. So I will have to commend on Solid Army on this one. But uh, there's still a lot more to do. Ooh. Dre has been hit there. He's taken a serious hit. Four portions now on the other side. Also fending off the chaos. Trying to hold the... Their side, Sass Boy takes a serious hit from Skinny. Four portions starting to cook once more. Four eliminations on the hits, and they are looking for more as well. But here comes uh, Spag and Pepsi circling as well. But he's going to take a, a couple of hits of his own, and we'll have to reposition. Ooh, Gods of War spraying through all of the obstacles. And they will catch a couple shots through onto Skinny as he gets knocked away. But that will not deter. The resets will be looking like uh, they will be coming through. But take a look, ladies and gentlemen. 14th Gaming just pulled up to the scene. They've not got any eliminations. But they're about to start cooking right now. Edge of the circle. Here comes Pluto Boy. The Pluto Maniacs. Grenade in hand. About to toss it deep into the smoke. And surely that will connect. It will hurt someone. Yes, it does. Skinny falls again by the wayside. Now an opportunity for 14th Gaming to breach this position. To get... Get rid of four portions taking hit after hit beautiful grenade onto pluto from pluto boy again ijebu gary now takes the hit atrox on the other side squished together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich skinny falls again rykard will get the shot sends him back into the lobby relatively very quickly but four portions now in serious trouble picks right through spag and pepsi will be blown away ijebu gary will follow through another one bites the dust and that will be the end of four portions courtesy of atrox and 14th gaming working together Gods of War to the backside as well have the angles covered from that building on Solid Army do have their sights on them but Pluto Boy does have to be careful there's only so much he can do from this position he might be exposed to on Solid Army if he's not careful enough and there might be some ops behind him but this might be the opportunity that they've been looking for to breach as well and Solid Army have been a uh a thorn in the side of most of his team but who asked Babalao to be here on his own Never the most ideal set of things to happen there, but he was on his own and he has been hurt. But uh, fortunately for them, 234 had his back covered, but they will have to take this advance. They cannot allow the front man to be swept back into the lobby on Solid Army. Have to push forward and loving the push, it comes through as well. But a spray is perfect. He announces his arrival. He has to circle back. 911 looking for that opportunity to hold up, but 234 surely he has the angle, but he's going to be dropped as well. What was he looking at? What was he looking at? All his attention should be in this direction. 14th Gaming about to breach through. 911 tries his absolute best to circle back. But hopefully the reset will come through. But Babalawo, there's no saving him now. He's uh, He's gone with the wind. He's going to be cooked. He's run over immediately by Pluto Boy. And that is that. He's a wrap. Nice spray from 911. Able to stop that one dead in his track. Valley again getting pulled out by... That guy, the Invincible, is trying to hold off into that position. There's more to it than that. There's more to it than crack. 
but Pluto Boy trying to circle back as well, hold off that position, 14th gaming now, up to 3 eliminations, Aatrox, front side, trying to hold off that guy, deep into the smoke, he's holding off a single corner, pops a Molotov cocktail, just burns the ops, jump shot into the corner and he's gonna be stopped, dropped and locked, back into the lobby he goes, 14th gaming, defensively holding their position perfectly, but Coles gets spot out by Rykard, Aatrox not letting this one slide away, but fortunately, they are playing by the edge of the circle, there's no ops behind them, Rykard getting, finally getting called out by Rimzi, and foul play will not be letting this one slide away either, but Solo peeks out his head a little bit too much and he will be sent back, foul play have been having the time of their lives in this game so far, based off of the rotational patterns that they did have earlier, and right now they are seated very very nicely by the edge of the circle, a little bit of play zone for them to work with, couple meters north, and they should be fine, on Solidami back to strength at 3, 5 eliminations for them, Rykard sent away, Aatrox swept back into the lobby courtesy of the 14th gaming team now the numbers start to dwindle again another opportunity for Unsolid Army to make something happen here angles and angles but there's only so much that they can do from that position and now there's uh, another opportunity for Unsolid Army to breach inside someone has been hurt and they will circle backwards Spray is good from Unsolid Army. They made the right call, made the rotation immediately, but someone should have been shooting from inside the block. And now Gods of War and 14th Gaming about to clash serious heads. Piers has to hold on the corner. Surely he has a grenade to bounce off the walls, but that's not the case. He doesn't do that immediately. He has to hang by the corner. But surely they know he's in there. They are looking for an opportunity to breach inside. But 911 will be caught, and so will 411. Back into the lobby they go. Grenade is perfect. Beautiful grenade. From Don't Blink. He fights that one away. 14th will take yet another hit. Gods of War smelling like they will take a chicken dinner here. Unsullied Army had the best chance, but they fumbled it. But they will, this will not be stopping any ops. A beautiful touch to follow through. But Sench will not go down without a fight. He circles back again. Gets the confirmation. Gods of War have somehow maniacally be cut down to three. Angles looking tighter and tighter. Here comes the opportunity again to circle back. Sench looking for that opening inside. Two for two. He's going to be dropped. McCall takes yet another hit and beautiful defensive position from Gods of War. And now is an opportunity for Rumsey to breach inside. It's a two versus two. Nine eliminations for foul play. But who will take it? Who will snatch away that chicken dinner? It's a two versus two. Play zone a little bit out of reach for foul play here. Gods of War, the first chicken dinner in the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. Will they make it happen? Looks like it's going to be a big, big opportunity for them going forwards. And Pierce, and don't blink again. Ooh, picking out from that corner. He drives through that. Not sure if that was going to be the right call. A little bit of intel. The bait and switch is perfect, actually. But unfortunately, they couldn't make a do of it. But he's going to take some serious play zone hits. But he should be fine. I'm loving what uh, Gods of War have done here. They've gathered all the intel. They know exactly where everyone is now. And now they will be looking for an opportunity to siege it forward. Smoke starting to come out from Fierce right now. Corners looking very, very tight. Here we go. Fierce pumping through from the right hand side. Trying to hold off into the corner. Here we go again. Molotov cocktails would be the order of the day right now. Put everywhere on fire. Put everyone on, on, on blast. Burn it all away. Solo still holding off to the backside. Beautiful grenade to follow suit. But unfortunately, will only be a couple of inches too shy. And Fierce again will be charging forward. But what was all the driving around for if you're not going to use the intel that was gathered? You know, because I feel that all of these smoked brick walls... They are not going to yield anything because you're still going to have to move inside of the zone and this smoke will still dissipate. Yeah, okay, Fierce has an idea, but does he have it right? He, surely he can hear that, but Rooms is going to catch a spray. What has he been doing this entire time? What has Fierce been doing? There is no way. There is no way. Foul play. Foul play. Oh, Fierce catches the first one. The DBS will not miss. Is it that his his headphones don't work? Beautiful work 
from foul play chicken dinner in hand with 11 eliminations what a way to wrap up the first match of the night gods of war in second place with seven i don't know how they fumbled this bag man i don't know how they fumbled this bag but uh 14th gaming in third place with seven of their own on solid army in fourth place with five gun machine in fifth place somehow mojito made it into the top five respect to him atrox in sixth place with two and invincibles in seventh place with eight seven loss in eighth place with four call in ninth place with three four portions in tenth place with five rsg in eleventh place with one tryout squad in twelfth place with four fake in thirteenth place with one dare esports in fourteenth place with two the praise in 15th harsh esports in 16th african legends in 17th 17th and black mamba in 18th place with one elimination wow gotta respect the hustle there coming in gotta respect the hustle from foul play you know i mean but honestly that was god of gods of war's game to win you know but i don't know what happened to them i don't really care they bottled it they paid the price ladies and gentlemen that's what happens in the npl if you make a mistake you will be hurt not me i'm not gonna be hurt but you are ladies and gentlemen match one has come to an end and we've got three maps left for you for the first time this year we're gonna have sandhawk so you know <laughs> so stay strapped stay ready be out there in a the minute
and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Monday to Sunday. And we're, <laughs> we're back. It's the Nigerian Pro League Season 7. It is the Hamatan Playoffs. And it is crazy. It is crazy. I don't know how uh, Gods of War didn't win that last game, but foul play, it looks like... You know, I saw Ocelot in the chat, so it looks like, you know, they've missed him. He's back, and they've started cooking. So, you know, they missed him, and now he's back, and now the doings resume. So we're, that's what we're here for. That's what we're down for. That's what we'd love to see, ladies and gentlemen. But without further ado, Miramar is where we are heading to next. And we know for a fact that uh, most of these teams know exactly what they're trying to do in Miramar. So without, without uh, having to uh, yap, yap, yap too much let's head over to miramar invincibles are top tier in this map but afro esports are here as well i think we've got mersatch uh, uh Kage and malibuka in the cut so it's one of them i think this might be the game that afro will cook something delicious so let's uh, let's head over there and see what's popping Ooh, interesting playing path from the north to south or rather northwest to the south you already know what time it is Y'all already know what time it is. This is going to be an interesting turn of events here. Yeah, Fake and Gods of War. I don't think they're going to be crashing into each other like they did yesterday. So I'm not expecting to see more of that, hopefully. So uh, I think they've learned from that one. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's no one here. So why, why was, who is shooting? There's no one here, man. Right, all right, let's guess. Let's get it popping in hot. Let's get it popping in here. Ooh, all right, guys. So, taking a look at the map now, we've got a couple of interesting uh, turns of events here. But it looks like the gun machine are not aware that uh, <laughs> that uh, Ocelot is back in the mix, so they, they, they really don't know what's cooking right here. Frankie will take the next hit, Rumsey. We'll fire some uh, shots his way. Gun Machine are taking some serious damage here. Two players knocked away. Zombies left. Manages to spray right through, but he's going to be knocked away as well. And Mojito's uh, trying his absolute best to arrive onto the scene. Hopefully, he will be able to achieve something here. But uh, guns from a foul play have not lost a single body. And, uh, yep, yeah, Mojito just arriving late. Yeah. Come on, guys. You guys need to learn that you don't have the Joes for foul play in Pecado. You don't have the Joes. I think Zombie can be picked up. I think he can be picked up. Oh, shit. This guy's already here. Oh, nice touch from Mojito. Surely he'll go for the finish. Yes, he will. Go and pick up your mans, bro. Why are you? What are you tanking in here for? Nah, I should have gone to pick up his man immediately. Immediately should have gone, gone to pick up his bro there. That would have been the next call of uh, events. Increase your numbers, man. Always increase your numbers. You know, but uh, looks like Zombie's not going to be getting picked up. Okay, Rumsey. Ooh, is Rumsey going to expose himself here? It's going to be very interesting here. If Rumsey is exposed, will he go for, one, for the two-piece? But Mojito is very low on HP, though. He has a... Has very low bars. Rumsey would be the knight, would be the wiser person to attack here. Oh, 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 oh. No. Oh, what a grenade. <laughs> they knew exactly where he was. What a grenade that was. Perfectly timed. 
grenade uh, I don't know if he was from Crusader. I think he was from Crusader. That's why he's uh, popping off. Four eliminations there for uh, foul play. And they've been, uh, been having fun today. Now I'm uh, loving it. Absolutely loving it. Four portions. Did have a solid performance in uh, the last Miramar game yesterday, I think. Uh, against the Invincibles. Allowed them to get the third chicken. Oh, I think it was the second chicken dinner. Or the th I think it was the, th the third. Yeah, it, it, was it the third? It was um, I think it was the second chicken dinner for them actually. Yeah, or was it the first? Okay, well I just realized that they actually won both mirror masks back to back. So, <laughs> so it was probably one of those two. But <sighs> it do be happening. Play zone is uh, in the south. It looks like African legends here have uh, walked into some, uh, some, they've stepped into some sheep. Hopefully, uh, they've, been, they've been having a really rough go of it lately. But I think they should qualify to the next phase because uh, in the bottom, at uh, the bottom of the leaderboard, I think they're just above everyone else. You know, so um, I, haven't, I haven't really taken a look at the leaderboard again, but. Um, I think they should be fine, but uh, in the league stages, yeah, their performance is not going to cut it. You know, they're probably not going to make um, the significant point moves that they're looking for, but uh, the rotation right now, heading towards Impala. I'm not looking to see too much of uh, aggression here. All right, first uh, zone shutting in very soon on Solid Army. Just uh, dinking into that uh, little corner south of Monte Nuevo. But they will take a little bit of time to reposition that. But take a look here, Afro Esports. They are looking very solid. We've got Kage, Malibuka, and Mersach. This is uh, an interesting lineup. Hopefully, we're going to see what. Uh, We want to see what uh, unfolds from this. Uh, they're still playing as a unit. You can see their split is uh, pretty even in Minas and Arales. A, a little bit of, of someone there in Graveyard. You can tell uh, that is the strategy here. Foul play still sitting cozily in Picardo. But Los Leones will go to the Invincibles. And they are playing as a four now. Sean, that guy, Psycho and Paramole are all together. All looking to put some numbers on the board for themselves never stopped them before it's not going to stop them today hopefully we're going to see something very uh, insightful from the invincibles this time around it's a uh... A little bit of a uh, utility usage and utility management that goes into playing Miramar as you all will do, but uh, it looks like seven lust and uh, four portions might be running into each other very soon. A little bit of a high ground advantage for seven lust here, but will they utilize it? Will they make it uh, or will they make something out of this? It would be uh, a little bit more ideal for them to at least hold out this position. They are in the circle. They are in the play zone, but I think he's going to move out a little bit more there. But Harsh Esports looks like uh, something interesting is going on here. Somebody just got blown away. Looks like it's someone from a Solid Army. Ooh, oh, on a Solid Army. Looks like they will be running into each other. A little bit of a chaos there. Agathe will take a hit and falls away. 
And now 2-3-4 with the DBS is perfect. Pluto falls away as well. Beautiful touch. Cole will not be taking this one lying down. Zella looking for an opportunity to pop right through. 4-1-1 is there trying to hold off the defensive line. Sprays with the AUG. Hopefully 2-3-4 can make something happen from the back line. But Cole will have to reposition again. This guy is hurt. 9-1-1 is seriously hurt but manages to duck behind cover just in time. Lai trying to rotate towards the eastern side and get an angle on him but he's going to rotate through the west and he's going to circle back. Light might be in danger here because that DBS is going to fall like a bunch of crackers. But numbers, share numbers advantage will come into play here for Cole. They wipe one away from Monsolidami. Surely they have to make this push. Once again, Babalawa playing behind. And I talked about this. This never ends well when he plays behind. He's always a better man up front. He's already, he, 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 We've seen this script before. We've seen this script. I've seen this script. Babalawa heads all the way to the back. The next thing you know, he's in his vehicle. And then off he goes into an unknown location. Yeah, I've seen I've seen this uh, play this script play out before, but hopefully this time it will be something useful. Trying to get an off angle, in you have the terrain, it's not ideal, you know. I mean, how good is his spray though to shoot from that angle? But uh, nice, nice touch from the four one one, a little bit of a nice hit there. Bogano will take a couple of hits. Again, the off angle. Why, if you're gonna use a DMR and if you're not gonna hit all your shots, you've given away your off angle position. Now the rest of these the guys from Core will be aware that they can take on Solid Army head on with a three versus two because Babalao is too far behind. That would be the ideal play in a scenario like this when you know that okay, these guys have taken someone in an off angle. We can take them head on using sheer numbers advantage in a three versus two. We already eliminated someone. These these are the decisions that come into play. 411 is still circling around. He's still circling around, hasn't made a conscious decision yet. But take a look at Zella. Zella is already making a move, trying to get his own off angle. And now, you know, on Solid Army might be getting caught out here. They might be get they might be forced to be spread thin. But fortunately for them, they have a solid position playing inside of the terrain. But there's only so much that they can achieve. There's only so much they can do from that position. Ooh. Light gets in. Uh, has been exposed a little bit there. Gano is taking some serious hits from that DMR from Babalawo's position. Babalawo is putting the pressure on. And looks like this might just be working out. But nope, it's seven loss to the rescue. Now, Babalao, I think he can steal this one. I think he can take this one away. Yes, he does. It's 2-3-4 that makes it happen, actually. Zella now gets uh, holding off. 2-3-4 bites the dust. He falls to the wayside, but looks like he will be getting picked up. And another opportunity. Beautiful defensive cover fire from 4-1-1. And I believe Cole now are down to just one player. Zella that made the move onto that corner but uh that is the danger of hanging around actually cole were the ones who paid the price they hung around too long and they got stuffed in the back courtesy of seven oh, what a nice spray from 411 he has the angles he has the sight lines but there's only so much he can do there babalawo pulls up uh, to the corner and now is an opportunity for them to wrap this up and get four eliminations courtesy of course. Now uh 411 will play behind. The rest of his teammates will hop inside. Babalawo looking for that opening. The jump shot is good here. Might be able to pop a grenade over the top and uh, seal the deal there. Ooh, DBS has to be careful now. That DBS can hurt. They will have to go as a unit. Ooh, but RSG and and uh, and uh Afro Esports, it looks like they've uh, just run into each other there. Oops. And that will be the end of call. Zella bites the dust. Back into the lobby he goes. On Solid Army up to four. And now RSG. Will, do they want to make the push? I don't think they are trying to make the push. Afro Esports hightailing it and getting out of dodge just in time. Did it manage uh, to squeeze that one elimination there? I'm not sure who from. Well, it was courtesy of Mersatch. Made it happen. Got some points on the board. You can tell Afro Esports their strategy every single time. Look for the high ground, play off of it, and play an interesting split that keeps 
a very very solid off offensive position allowing them to take multiple engagements we've seen that play out before especially in miramar but rsg have the same idea here you can see danny brown just leading the charge in front and they can see him on the move surely they are going to block him in front they they know he's there and that is the danger of driving alone danny brown is in serious trouble now surely he's going to be stopped yes he is stopped dead in his tracks but a beautiful spray to follow through quiller peeks out a little bit of a, a hit there but unfortunately he will not be saved rsg will take a hit danny brown panned away and uh, <laughs> that's gonna be a, a a big blow for rsg now because they will lose yet another player they're down to they're down to two now mersatch with a beautiful touch a beautiful spray drops emma down to his knees quiller will be the last one left for rsg he has to hop into his vehicle and get out of dodge. That is the only play here. You have to run. He's exposed now, surely. They are aware of his position. He is going to be shot from the back. He manages to dodge a couple of shots from Kage. He tries to switch to the DBS. But look at Quilla just dancing around. Look at that. He's crouching Tiger. Hidden Monkey. But ops all over the side. Look at him spinning. Left. Right. No. And Quilla will be shot away from the lobby, courtesy of Afro Esports. And back they go. Now we're down to 14 teams, 48 bodies in the cut. And you already know Afro Esports, uh, African legends, are just uh, chilling there in the southern side, trying to deal with the guys from 14th Gaming. They are spread really nicely here. But uh, how much more defensive can it get? I mean, I, I would go for the offense here. You have the no, you have uh, the angles, you have the corners, but uh, unfortunately, you do not have the numbers advantage. So that is one thing 14th Gaming are going to be using. You know, I mean, they can isolate solo, turn him into a solo player and send him back into the lobby. It would be much more ideal. I don't know if Sench has a vehicle, but if he did, that would be all. Oh. What a grenade from Jay, and and that and just like that, the game the game is turned on his head. Smoke will take a hit as well from Cold, and that will be the end from for African Legends. Surely, Solo will take a hit, will be dropped dead in his tracks. Dollars with a nice spray on over to the side. Pluto Boy gets uh, stuck away, but uh, it's not looking like much is gonna come from this. Dollars is still too far away, but I believe they know. But they don't know that uh, African Legends are actually a three-man team. So that's why they're still trying to be cautious here. You can take a look at Sen just trying to find an angle, trying to find a position. Dollars hops into his vehicle and gets out of dodge. Can't blame him though. Can't blame him at all. But from the frying pan into the fire, the Invincible's up north. And he might get caught out here. But he's not careful enough. We'll run into the Invincibles and then we'll, he will run out of time. Oh, wow. Just take a look at where this guy just comes and delivers himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's going to get cooked. If he makes a rotation towards the West, he's cooked. He has to find somewhere else deep into the zone and play for himself. But foul play. Not letting this one slide at all. Couple of shots through. Jane Mori will be the next one to go. Fake. And the spray is continued as well into that corner. And you can see a foul play have been holding Picardo by the neck right here. Aatrox have been forced into this little, uh, this little compound, this little building. Fortunately for them, I think they should be safe here. They should be uh, solid here. But foul play are enjoying all of Picardo. Uh, held it from the, the get-go when they eliminated guys from Gun Machine. But now the Invincibles are pulling up from the north. Aatrox will have to play inside of these these uh, these uh, buildings. It will be much more ideal for them going forwards. But uh, could be a, a yearning moment for them as well if they are not uh, careful. Four portions, Gods of War, Tryout Squad, all of them running into each other there bodies are starting to drop once more here comes spag and pepsi trying to defend solidly and i think they should be fine just playing off the edge of this uh these corners that they have for themselves
Ooh. And here comes Spag and Pepsi trying to get a better angle there. Oh, beautiful spray. Zani gets uh, knocked away. Skinny will catch another one. D Dakota will be the next to fall. Four portions just advancing stronger and stronger. Taking the positions away from tryout squad one after the other. But Federal is here. And he might uh, be the one that has the angle on four portions. But... Uh, he already has two fallen comrades though. It would be ideal for him to get at least get one up. It's not looking like that's going to be a possibility. Skinny will not allow that happen. Zani as well is going to be taking a couple of more hits. Four portions just advancing aggressively through the corners there. And taking them out one after the other. Gods of War. Fortunately down to one. It is going to be a star. for esports uh just uh, making that rotation as expected coming in from the north don't blink finally succumbing to his injuries and gods of war will be down to one take a look at the rotation coming in from this guy man kage is just all the way out there trying to get an angle inside of the circle as you can see nobody else is doing this right now it is just him just take a look he's already playing from the north as expected trying to gather more intel for the rest of his team and it's a little bit more ideal but the gods of war have uh, made some significant progress into this corner i think they should be able to play from this position it would be easier and less uh, ambiguous there's still 13 teams in here there's still 41 players how far can they hold on? Invincible still chilling ever so quietly. Not able to get an elimination just yet, but the first one will bite the dust. Spray, 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 and spray. That guy getting called out, but uh, Paramole was called out as well. 14th gaming and not to be trifled with, that is for sure. If you catch one, they will catch one as well. But the angles are so overwhelming. Pluto boy now falls away. Sench, the last one left inside of the building. Two players have gone down. Now it's all left to Sench. Smokes all over the place, but hopefully he can be able to defend this position. They were able to make a trade-off, but was it worth it? The Invincibles now will be taking damage from the eastern side. It looks like it will be courtesy of... Uh, on solid army babalao has not been he has not been relenting today not been able to find an elimination either but uh, that has not stopped him from co constituting a nuisance right now for oh that's a nice shot that is a nice shot surely they should be able to breach now he's hurt would be much more ideal but uh psycho will stop two three four dead in his track beautiful spray onto psycho he's dropped as well sean trying to hold off and here's that guy babalawa moves up to the scene to seal that deal cuts that one immediately spray is perfect onto the corner tries again but can't seem to connect the shot sean and that guy working hand in hand two three four still knocked away babalawa it's all in his hands now but four one one is also there as well trying to get the reset up and now an opportunity that you will not see before but on solid army might just be pop by just be able to beat the brakes of the guys from Invincibles. The sprays continue. Sean is there, but uh, Babalawo picks up a little bit too much. Totally for lost his angles there, and he's going to be stopped. But 2 3 4 and 4 1 1 working together to shut that down. Two versus one. Sean is alone. Surely he has to be stopped now. They need to deal with the Invincibles sooner rather than later. That guy cannot be of that much help. And now it's an opportunity. Here comes 4 1 1. UMP in hand, trying to swing it from side to side. Spray the chopper. Spray the angles. 4 one one surely they know dbs you can hear it trying to pop through he might be getting dropped he's dropped first one bites the dust 411 might be dropped as well an opportunity here hopefully he's not stopped a little bit of a touch there and with the jump shot surely he might make it happen but 411 does not want to commit he's trying to hold off and he makes it happen finally on solid army will put an end to the Invincibles, what a play coming in from Unsullied Army. 2-3-4, made the right call, picking 4-1-1 up, switched to, oh, grenade almost immediately from Sench. And beautiful teamwork, 10 eliminations for Unsullied Army. Now this is the Unsullied Army I knew I could see. 4-1-1 and 2-3-4, cooking an absolute breakfast, lunch and dinner performance here. 
as on solid army continue to rattle the cages chicken dinner is within grasp it is within touch but who will take it instead i am loving the terrain plays here but they do have a little bit of time to covert the positions Af uh, afro esports are also making their way inside malibu and Kage playing off the and the backside there and here we go fortunately 411 which should make it up in time hopefully he gets that reset up and get his hp levels back up as well but he's going to take serious hits and solid army getting caught out one bites the dust again he's in serious trouble the smokes should be coming out immediately right now they cannot allow Malibuka to make an advance to this position. They cannot allow him. He's going to be a big, big problem for them. He's already there. Expose himself to the left. Why? Why expose yourself to the west, man? Mersach has a clean shot here. He has a clean shot. Two, three, four. Will swallow a sweet grenade straight to the score. And back into the lobby he goes. And now it's... Uh... It's going to take a whole lot here, but offline getting caught out there. Malibuka can smell 411. He's just trying to get the angle on him, trying to get the corners on him. He knows exactly what he's looking for here. Pops inside. He's circling. 411 could stop him if he's not careful. Oh, there's two of them now. They already pulled up as two. They knew what they needed to do, and that is it. They wrapped it up. Malibuka. And Kage working hand in hand. 10 eliminations for Afro Esports. Surely now. Surely now. That chicken dinner that has been a, a thing of beauty is about to be for them. Spray and fray the shots from Malibuka again towards the north. Will take a hit. But Dream Team will advance even further into the zone. We'll take a look at Mersach. He's the only one in the circle. Our Afro Esports masterclass at work. He's the only one in the circle. The rest of his teammates are keeping everyone else outside. You can tell that that is the strategy here. Another one bites the dust. Take a look at the performance coming through. Their dream team shut away almost immediately. Offline. Goes offline. That will be the end. Swept away. Beautiful, beautiful performance from Afro Esports. Just take a look at that. That is a masterclass performance for Afro Esports. I don't even know how many they ended up getting. I believe they got 11 eliminations and a chicken dinner to follow suit as well. Aatrox in second place with two. Tryout squad in third place with three. Dream Team in fourth place with three as well. 9-1-1 and the rest of Unsullied Army in fifth place with 10. Four portions in sixth place with five. Or six, actually. Seven lost in seventh place with three. Foul play in eight, eight place with seven. Fake in ninth place with three. Fourteenth in tenth place with three. Invincibles in eleventh place with three. And Afri Af uh, African Legends in twelfth place. Gods of War in thirteenth place. Their esports in fourteenth place with four. Wow, was that a four piece that I missed? RSG in fifteenth place. Call in 16th place with one, Harsh in 17th place with three, and Gun Machine in 18th place with one. Top tier stuff from Afro Esports. You can't even be mad. Beautiful performance. Kept Mersach in the zone. The other two put them out into the world and allowed them to wreak havoc, and that is what we love to see. Ladies and gentlemen, Sanhok is up next, and you already know what time it is. Stay strapped as the Nigerian Pro League is the Amatan Playoffs, the Season 7, it's brought to you by 1080 and Carbon Finance. Stay tuned. <music>
Ladies and gentlemen, 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 it's showtime. Welcome back to the Nigerian Pro League. It is a season seven and we are in the Hammer Time split playoffs. This is your boy Priest bringing you the action live and direct from 1080 Studios. <laughs> now, let's let's get ready. Let's stay strapped. Sanhok is where it's at. And you, you guys already know how Sanhok goes. You know how it is. You know the deal. You know that it's all about aggression, violence. Eliminate as many people as you can. And there's a lot of bodies in here. So you already know that most of these teams, this is the first time they're playing Sanok probably this year, you know. But it's time to, you know, get your engines revved up. And let's see what uh, the teams are going to have in store for us coming into the third map of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the NPL. The action starts now. Sanhok. Ooh, look at that plane go. Very short map, very sweet map. No time, don't rush. Everything is going to be quick. Everything is going to be spicy. Look at that uh, north, uh, a little bit of a northern zone to the southeast. And that should tell you something if you don't know. Now you know. And uh, most of these teams are just, uh, <laughs> they're very intricate with the way they play Sanok, you know. So we're going to learn a lot of things today, especially in this map. So Painan will be where most teams uh, would uh, love to go. And uh, some chaos there. I think on Solid Army, four portions. Most of those teams already loving that Sanok vibe. But it takes a, a big man, a big team to hop into boot camp and call it their own. The Invincibles are already, already starting to cook it up. Paramole, two down, two to go. Tryout score, not trying hard enough. They need it another player. Federal being knocked away almost immediately. That guy is that guy. Jumps through, tries to circle back. The QBZ in hand. Now, the Invincibles are starting to wreak havoc again. Try, starting to increase their numbers. Spray is good. Almost inch perfect. As Zani falls to the floor, can't seem to get anything to work right through. The DBS now trying to circle back. Paramole has been hit and a beautiful shot to seal that one immediately there. Invincibles on top. Spray is... Oh, what a spray that was from Laser. Lasers through. And now it's an opportunity for Gun Machine to sneak inside of the center half of the boot camp and steal that position away from the Invincibles. But it's not looking like it's going to be a possibility here. On Solid Army... I'm not sure what the plan is here. There's not a lot of loot here. Were they waiting? Were they trying to go to boot camp and then they saw how many bodies were there and then they changed their mind midway because this is not a landing position. You know, Solid Army, I don't know, whatever you're cooking, but wait a minute. Oh, I think Gun Machine are still taking hits. They're taking hits. Frankie's been knocked away. It looks like Mojito is looking for another opportunity to rotate from the western side and get an angle onto the guys from uh, the Invincibles. It's going to take a lot for them to handle these guys. It's going to take so much. And uh, hopefully they will come out on top. But the Invincibles are far more experienced, especially in a scenario like this. But uh, Boots Camp is not where is not where you trifle about. Mami knocked away their courtesy of fake. Three bodies down. Now they're looking for more. Four portions on the other side of the river. Trying to hold off. Dami now trying to escape the corners. But, uh, ooh, I love you with a beautiful touch. Catches a spag. I believe that's a spag and Pepsi gets knocked away as well. And now four portions might be, uh, might be in some serious trouble here. Jin Mori bites the dust by Dami. Gets knocked away there. Counter seemed to hold off that position. It looks like it's going to be a possibility. Another one bites the dust. Two for two here. Dami's looking to do something here. Drop shot. Tries to circle back, but almost had it down. Almost cannot kill a bird. But it can shave its feathers. As Fake will come out on top here. Three bodies knocked away. Courtesy of one dead esports player. You cannot make this up. It was so close. It was so dangerous. But it will come out on top. Four portions will use that opportunity to make something happen there. But somebody, call 911, as Unsullied Army will close the door on fake. <laughs> Sandhawk, ladies and gentlemen, that is what happens. You fight a little bit too long and you get third party. Unsullied Army coming in with a third party of the century, stealing some points away. And four portions will live to fight another day, but they will be the only team su successfully inside of Pine 9. Hashi Sports now running inside of uh, Camp Bravo, dealing with the guys from 7 Lust. 
All the angles being covered here, but uh, IC's been knocked away. Itachi playing off the backside as well, trying to circle from the west. But there's too many bodies around. He has to be careful. Lante does have a position on him, but uh, fortunately for him, Magic has a, a little bit of a cover position to play with the vehicle. Now rotates from uh, the western side. We'll have, uh, have him uh, <laughs> scratching and itching, trying to get an angle there. But Lante might be getting caught out there. Another opportunity for Hashi Sports. They should use the numbers advantage here. They do have a body to their name. They should be able to wrap this one up. There's not a lot of open ground here. Not a lot of utilities as well. As you can see, this guy doesn't even have a helmet. That's to tell you that uh, this was not planned. But uh, here comes on Solid Army again. They have been cooking today. Pulling up into the scene of Painan. They've got, uh, I believe, one of the players from Four Portions. But I'm not sure. That's ideal. Oh, what a beautiful spray. Skinny now will be the nest to fall. And 411 has been tearing it today. If someone asks you what the 411 is, tell him it's on Solid Army. Because they know. And Skinny already accepted his fate, brought his head out, and he will go back into the lobby. 2-3-4 now, looking for an opening inside. Tainan, DBS in hand. Here, looking for that angle to pop through. Grenade might be the trick here for 2-3-4. He does have that S12K, and we already know what time it is. He's trying to circle back, trying to pop over. Pops a little bit of a shot there, but he's going to be dropped instead by the DBS. And back into the lobby he goes. Again, on Solid Army, getting spread out very, very thin. It's a 3 versus 3 now. Skinny, unfortunately, paved the way there to get an angle for Solid Army, but they are still, they still have a better position inside, and they have a couple of knocks that have circled inside as well. Afro and uh, Afro Esports have been uh, taking some serious hits, courtesy of African Legends, just deep into that western side, and I think they should be able to wrap things up there. They will take the engagement. Guards of War, on the other hand, will take some more and more hits. Twelve. 12 teams left already. <laughs> 37 bodies turned to 34 as Afro Esports will get rid of African Legends. Mersach will close that one almost immediately. And they will come out on top. Now more bodies to defend. On Solid Army, still deep inside of Painan. Four portions of Spag and Pepsi. Trying to get an angle deep inside of the circle, but... Uh, more. Oh, what a grenade from 911. Somebody call the ambulance because it's about to be a rough ride here for four portions. 911 now switches to the DBS. Surely he's about to pop another grenade just right through the wire. Might have him wiring shut. Beautiful positioning coming in from Unsolid Army. They cannot allow for the resets. And you already know why. Sprays from the U UMP. Trying to circle back again. DBS versus DBS. Tries to hold the angle tight. Unsolid Army. Two now. Two down. Hits him a little bit by the wayside as he tries to escape. 9-1-1 on the offensive. Tries to pipe through again. Circling the back side. Tries again and shuts it immediately. Four portions. Could not run away from a solid army. 9-1-1. Ambulance called. And they're about to drive their bodies. On four portions back into the lobby. You can't make this up. What a way to go out. On Solid Army, ladies and gentlemen, they have been absolutely cooking. And there's a three-man step. They will be continuing this damage, this onslaught that they've managed to come on top for. And there are three eliminations for Harsh Esports here. Down to Lunte. He was uh, the last one left. And I think he's AFK, unfortunately. Didn't manage to lose all of his teammates in that engagement. The Invincibles, I think uh, they've uh, gotten rid of Gun Machine. Yes, they have. Eight eliminations. I was expecting them to get rid of Gun Machine. Gun Re Machine do not have the experience to play boot camp at all. At least compared to uh, a team like the Invincibles, absolutely no way they're coming out of that one. I mean, Gun Machine, I have to respect the resilience, you know, taking all of these uh, engagements here. But they go on the 14th. Did run into each other relatively very quickly. Kage did uh, fend that one off. Uh, Malibuka back into the lobby. He goes. Dago will be getting picked up as well. Uh, Afro Esports up to eight eliminations now. And it looks like uh, it's between them and Invincibles at this point. You know, because uh, Solid Army are playing from the south. So that's going to be a very difficult rotation for them to make. You know, they will be getting called out. Hope most, more li most likely by Cole 
or the Invincibles. On Solid Army, they have a very, very tough rotation to make. You know, unless they go all the way around from her thin, that's gonna take a while. Playzone's gonna catch up to them. You know, you know the works, you know the you know the vibes. You know, Playzone has uh, shifted central centered very nicely. You know, for Aatrox inside of uh, Paradise Resort, so they should be fine here for the main time. Foul play coming in from Ka uh, from Cowell as a complete squad, not losing any bodies. They don't actually have anyone land with them in that position, so they should be fine going uh, into the final third. They've been having the game of their lives today, as uh, they did have their IGL back, Ocelot. He's back and he's cooking. We are here for that. We will uh, advance a little bit for further into tap mock. Uh, this is actually a, better, a nice spot to defend. It is very easy to defend this position. You know, this would be an ideal position for them to hold at least for the time being. But I'm not sure what they're doing here. Yeah, it's they're spreading too thin for my liking. Afro esports probably going to catch them on the break from the bridge if they're not careful enough. But you know, could uh, spell. Uh, proactiveness for them because they do have the numbers advantage over afro esports but they are in a split so that uh, is dead in the water almost immediately nine teams already nine teams already this is what sanok does this is what sanok does <laughs> Sanok, ladies and gentlemen, cuts teams down to nine. 30 bodies in the cut, and we are only in phase two of the circle. <laughs> that tells you so many things, man. Tells you so many things, man. So many things. So many things, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is the NPL brought to you by 1080 Esports and Carbon Finance. If you're trying to save your money and get some loans and get some percentages, Carbon is your app official payment partner for us at 1080 esports so don't forget to lock in peep game lock in stay strapped ladies and gentlemen don't forget uh, the nigerian pro league officially kicks off with the league stages in a couple of days right after the playoffs come to an end i will be having a draw you know, uh, we're going to do a draw of the groups, of the groups. <laughs> so everyone knows. Yeah, so we will know we're not making this up. We know we're not manufacturing anything. It's going to be live streamed on the channel as well. So you guys are going to see the live groupings as well. So who's going to be in group A, B, C, D and E for the league stages. So we're going to have that uh, streamed right here on 1080 Play. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe and turn on post notifications. So that once the stream goes live, you will be, uh, you, you guys will be ready to see where all the action lies. You know what I mean? <laughs> Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here. Playzone already uh, closing up. And now uh, it's coming uh, into fruition as to who is going to be playing from that southern side. Again, you talk, I talked about this on Solid Army making that rotation from the south. Probably going to get caught out by Cole here if they're not uh, rotating too thin. But they will be uh, playing around the Invincibles and Cole at the same time. If all hell breaks loose here on Solid Army will not survive. It's going to be a very, very tricky one. They will have to move into the zone relatively very quickly, even quicker than the Invincibles and block them inside. But that is the danger of playing slow, especially in a map like Sanok. You do not want to play slow. You want to be inside of the zone. You cannot be worried about the ops. And the play zone at the same time that's so much stress if you're gonna play slow let it be that one person or two people at least are very close to the play zone while the rest of the team will play slow pick up some eliminations feed the intel to the teams to the players in front of the zone to keep them at bay but here comes afro esports and i talked about this engagement happening the numbers advantage will not work for foul play because they have been spread too thin and now they had two here, and those two were wiped away by Afro Esports. I, I, this is exactly the play I just called. I said it that the numbers advantage will not work for anything because they are split. The numbers advantage will not work for foul play. It would instead work for Afro Esports because it becomes a three versus two if you can't cover your bases. I mean, take a look at the, the split from Afro Esports, you know. Look at where they are. And the rest of the team is all the way deep in the warehouses of Tatmok. There is no way you're saving your teammates all the way from here. Come on now, let's be for real. 
let us be for real no eliminations foul play will probably not get any until they go back into the lobby because this you know these i've seen this script before this is the performance that gets you zero eliminations and back into the lobby you go probably gonna get at least some placement points because of this position they already have inside of the play zone but hopefully it amounts to something for them because they were having a, they've been having a nice couple of games tonight up until this uh, catastrophe that they found themselves in cowell is still playable at this stage they should have even stayed there yeah. <laughs> they should have even stayed there place will probably still be there you know probably take out paradise resort and atrox will have to be you know forced into playing from the eastern side but hey but hey lante is still alive for harsh esports i think there's two of them there should be two of them right yeah there's two of them it's lante and Merd. Ooh, and they've been spotted by atrox but uh, that will not yield much they will be playing from in here as instead that's not a bad spot for them, but uh, could be better. They should, uh, you know, slide in to that uh, tap mark area, full send it, and, and uh, you know, call it theirs. But they are playing as a two man step, so should be fine for the time being. But the next couple of zones will be a big definitive moment. On Solid Army again, playing very, very slow, still outside of the circle. The next phase of the circle will be a big, big shift. Hopefully, it will uh, favor them all. 411 has been absolutely phenomenal. It's a uh, 911 as well. And, uh, running from the zone? Right. What a time to be alive running from the play zone. Aatrox is still encampered inside of uh, Paradise Resort. Play zone has shifted towards that uh, the northern the northern side. Again, I said it. Cow would be still within touching distance, still within play. Tap mock, the right place to be. Afro Esports have pulled up to the scene. Watch how they will eliminate the guys from foul play, and foul play will not get a single point. Watch how this is going to play out right now. Here we go. Mersach plays off to the backside. You can see Solo has taken a couple of hits. He's hurt. Kage knows he's hurt. He's going to make the advance. He's going to push through. Trying to hold him off. Trying to get that reset on his HP bars. But he can't seem to squeeze that side. Here we go again. Here comes Solo. He might be opening up. Getting an opportunity. Pays him to the right hand side. Tries to drop him through. Drops him immediately. Mersach with a DBS. Falls away. I call this easy. Afro Esports tearing through. Spray is good. Rumsey's hurt. One HP. Here comes Kage looking for that finish. And that will be wraps, ladies and gentlemen. I called it. I saw it before it happened. I knew that they were going to be swept away with no eliminations. I knew that that was what was going to happen because that is how PUBG Mobile is. You lose mentally first. Before you even lose the fight, you lose mentally and I'm and, and probably already lost the moment you know afro esports tore them through from the western side i knew that there was no way they were going to make it out alive from this engagement afro esports about to give us a master class performance here back to okay not back to back actually wait yeah it's a back to back they they, they did win they did win in miramar they're about to give us a back-to-back -back performance here we go Southern Sider uh, looking very caked up now on Solid Army and Cole. The fight I knew was going to happen sooner rather than later. Those slow rotations will hurt someone and it's looking like it's going to hurt on Solid Army. But they're not going now without a fight. Aatrox still playing in from inside of the blue zone and trying to hold off a, an angle there. But they might be getting squeezed out. Another one bites the dust. But on Solid Army should be able to rotate inside of the zone without any... Uh, any misconceptions of where they are trying to rotate from. 411 and 911, the two... The two uh, <laughs> bodybuilders, the way they've been lifting this uh, team, must uh, all their muscles must be hurting right now. Aatrox still have the front lines in packed up. I mean, yeah, 411, it would not be ideal to make that rotation from there. Of course, you already tell Cole already making the rotation from the front side. Don't don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. You're gonna get caught out. You're gonna get caught. Oh, manages to get two. 411, two sprays is good. But will he make something out of it though? He's deep in the blue zone. He's taking serious damage. Surely they have to make the advance forward. 911 making the right call here. He's tapping through. And Zella falls to the way to the play zone. But now that uh Anzella will take uh that one with him. 411 taking a hit. 
He should be fine. Nine eliminations for Unsolidami. They just came from 10. Now they have nine. I mean, beautiful stuff from Unsolid Army. They managed to hold off with uh, Team Cole from getting inside of the zone. Respect to 4 one, one He sacrificed himself for those points. Now the Invincibles on the receiving end of some chaos. Kites the dust again. Paramole falls to the DBS. Sean is there just taking some serious hits. Manages to steal one away. Rikard is on the floor. Sprawled away. Paramole as well. Knocked away. Invincibles are down to two. But Aatrox have all the angles covered. All the bases covered as well. Trying to hold through. Rekt is uh, spotted as well. Cycle bites the dust. Falls by the wayside. And 4-1-1 has Sassy right in front of him. Sass boy might be getting caught out. But take a look at that guy. Sprays him deep. Drops him immediately. Somehow the Invincibles come out on top. And 4-1-1 gets his HP levels back up. And now he's waiting for that guy to peek out he's gonna drop him almost immediately the moment he smells blood in the water he will drop him immediately and that will be wrapped drops him sweet spray from 411 but unfortunately invincible still have some card off their sleeve somebody behind him but he's not aware invincible still have a player behind but the play zone will do what it does best and tanks that one away sean is inside the zone he will hold on for the time being but here comes dream team down to three two eliminations so far take a look at afro esports they are spread so wide they have all the angles covered but the play zone is not friendly it's not for them at all they have to make the advance into that zone to clutch up a position for themselves ladies and gentlemen we're about to find out can afro esports give us a master class performance three seconds play zone starts to move in dream team they do love scenarios like this but kage is there with the spray and opens the floodgates for dream team to be ambushed by afro esports angles are looking too tight here slinger is trying to get an angle from that western side but there will be uh, a bait and switch afro esports will need vehicles they cannot make the rush they cannot make the push they will have to find a position inside of that circle to rotate from they cannot be spreading thin and harsh esports nerd has survived into the final three manages to get a couple of shots off but exposes his position will be dropped away as well here comes death fury trying to circle backwards yas kage in his sights surely he'll catch up with shots he sprays and stops he sprays and stops and the return fire is absolutely brilliant afro esports you cannot miss you cannot spray and stop if you stop you're gonna be hurt mersach is there trying to circle back the corners the left hand side left and right he faints sprays again but he's gonna be dropped immediately by death fury beautiful position sends it back into the lobby the angles now dream team are using it to their advantage they're trying to circle back again grenade over to the top kage might take a hit immediately from that position he's gonna be circling back and dream team know exactly how to play in scenarios like this kage might be in trouble he's gonna be hurt immediately by archer dropped to his knees but archer as well is dropped it's a trade it's a two for one special kage still dropped away daegu is there playing from the northern side afro esports and dream team who will come out on top it's gonna be a tricky one to hold off the corner here comes death fury now trying to take a one versus one against daegu sprays deep into the corner he's taking a couple of hits faint and switch up up down left and right they're tweaking of the buttons here he turned around face to the left and daigo will stop him dead in his tracks afro esports chicken dinner 16 eliminations ladies and gentlemen now that is a master class back-to-back -back chicken dinner for afro esports with 16 eliminations you cannot deny that performance dream team almost had it in the bag but three eliminations with second place is not a bad result. It could have been so much better. Harsh Esports somehow made it into the top three with three eliminations for themselves. And then the Invincibles in fourth place with a whopping number of 13 eliminations as well. They still managed to put significant numbers on the board. 9-1-1 and 4-1-1 for Solid Army coming together to give us nine eliminations. Aatrox in sixth place with four as well. Cole in seventh place with one. Guards of War in eighth place with nothing. Foul Play in ninth place with nothing. Tenth place with nothing is Team 14th Gaming. And eleventh place with two eliminations, four portions. Twelfth place, Afri African Legends with one elimination. Seven lost in 13th place with two 
Gun Machine in 14th, Fake in 15th place with 4, Dare Esports in 16th place with 1, RSG in 17th, and Try Out Squad in 18th. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make the cookie crumble. Afro Esports not sleeping around today. Beautiful teamwork, beautiful effort, 16 eliminations, back to back chicken dinner. Are they going to give us the same performance Invincibles gave us yesterday? Are they going to give us a masterclass of three chicken dinners in a row? We're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen, is the NPL brought to you by 1080 and Carbon Finance. Last game for the night is coming up soon, so stay strapped, stay ready, don't touch that down. <music>
I think we have lift off ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the show it is the nigerian pro league season seven it is the hammer town playoffs and it is your boy priest bringing you the action live brought to you by 1080 esports and carbon finance your one-stop shop for all things savings and loans now we just saw a master class smelling of master class from afro esports two chicken dinners in a row can they make it three like Invincibles gave us yesterday or will someone stop them in their tracks? We're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. It is map four. It's match four. It's the last match for tonight before we take a little break and then we come back for the rest of the matches uh, next week. Rather, this week. Then we'll have uh, teams, the, the top 17 teams from this lobby will qualify to join the likes of 21st Century, Men of Blood and our current NPL champions from Season 6, 10-11 eSports. So, if you're trying to see 10-11, get ready because you're going to see them in the next stage. You know, I'm going to see your, I know you guys are going to see Bego, you're going to see God, yay! You're going to see Fex, you're going to see all the guys them. So, stay strapped and stay ready. Showtime. Ooh, interesting flight path there from uh, the from the jump, it looks like they're esports and gun machine again. Again. Wow. This is really no grief for anybody. This is really stubborn vibe. These guys are not letting go, man. They are not letting go. Their esports taking a couple of hits there. What? Ooh, nice hit from zombie there. Gets the first one down. Damn me, will fall away. Mami will fall away. Uh, takes a little bit of a hit there. Might be getting dropped. He's not careful, but uh, Mami actually did get confirmed. The grenade would have uh, done the trick here. Just charging that one up. Ooh. Gun machine. <laughs> I have to respect the hustle. They've they've lost twice to their esports here, but they're not giving up at all. Ooh, charging the grenade. 
gonna switch this to the UZ. Ooh, blinds him. I need to still let the grenade go. Wow. Unfortunately, that will not do the trick. Zombie falls away. The laser's off on the back side there. Their esports are now looking for all the angles to breach through. It's a three versus two. Their esports still have all the numbers, still have all the angles, but this grenade might change things here. Laser with a beautiful lofted grenade over the top. But falls a little bit short. Mojito still on the outside looking for that opening. Their esports are now. They're in a, a little bit of a pinch here. They have no utilities. Should work in favor of Gun Machine, honestly, but they do have to make the right choices. They do have to be very effective in how they uh, take their engagements, but they will have to deal with Odomo Black on the top side there. And Laser is looking for that opportunity, looking for a way to breach through. Here he comes again. Odomo Black, low on HP. All it takes is one hit. All it takes is one hit. And after he's on a gun machine, will come out on top here. No be cho 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 now do more to be that beautiful touch with the the <laughs> beautiful touch with that shotgun there trying to switch through drop shot is good for mojito but why did he go for the thirst why did you go for the finish man you are out but once again gun machine lose to their esports they lose again three times in a row they've lost to their esports in this same spot surely they've learned something here but uh looks like uh aatrox rsg and seven lust all sharing uh <laughs> all sharing primos quilla takes a little bit of a big hit oh, rsg have not had the best day today slider will go for that finish and rsg unfortunately will be down to one danny brown Oh, yeah, totally forgot about Danny Brown, did you? <laughs> yeah, next time, don't forget about Danny Brown. And Danny Brown will st snatch that one away. Seven lost, enjoying the view from outside of Primorsk there, but they are catching body still. And they're not uh, having to stress too much, but uh, Slider, this is not ideal. This is very much not ideal. Why? Why would you do that, bro? What did you think this was? What did you think this was? Where was the rest of his team, though? Oh, wow. he's the, He was the only one there? Wow. So many ways I could have gone. Pluto bites the dust as well. 14th gaming. So unrelenting. Cole will take some serious heavy damage in that eastern side. And Pluto boy continues his onslaught. They're up to two eliminations now. But Cole will not let this one slide away. Zella picks up a little bit uh, of drama in there. And switches to the AUG space the faster catch a couple of shots towards Zella's position but uh, Cole know exactly how to play around compounds like this they know exactly how to play on the offensive especially if they're trying to surround their enemy but Zella peeks out a little bit too much there he's going to take a serious hit he's low 20 HP possibly grenade from Jay might do the trick here but Zella still trying to keep them at bay light is off the backside sprays again with the mini 14 but can't seem to connect the dots they do have only one elimination, but I believe that is where it's going to end. Zella is still in a dangerous position. He has to find a better spot to deal damage from. He's still behind the tree. But you see Pluto Boy trying to circumvent the angles and find a better position. A couple of sprays from Light, but won't do the trick. Zella is looking for the opening, but he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. And here comes Light. There's only so much he can do. Pluto Boy already circling back. Probably going to stop him there, but he's going to run him over. He falls away, but he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks as well, courtesy. Cool. Of course, Afro Esports heard all of that commotion, but will they get involved? It's about to be a plethora. About to be a plethora of chaos there on Solid Army once again. Raising havoc. As uh, Babalawa is circling around looking for an entry position to 
hold off. I believe it's foul play. I think they did catch a couple of shots there and they did drop three. Or was it two? I think it's two they dropped. And then Solid Army continue this, their vanquish. The vanquishing of all these other teams. And now Dream Team trying to deal with uh, the Invincibles on the other side of the bridge. All of these bridge teams that love to fight on the bridge. Here they come again. Oh, Archer. Nice spray. That guy falls away. Beautiful, beautiful touch. And that will be wraps. The Invincibles are stopped dead by Dream Team. What a performance to follow suit. Dream Team have been uh, sluggish, but they found their footing in this game because they are the best at bridge camping. You can't take it away from them. See, saw it on day one. Bridge camping activities, give it to Dream Team. Don't play with them. They are the best at bridge camping. Harsh Esports taking a little bit of a hit there against the guys from Four Portions. Getting caught out there deep into the south. A little bit by the bridge there, but Four Portions know exactly how to play here. Two players knocked away. And here comes Pag and Pepsi trying to circle back. Lante tries to spray. Beautiful touch. Switches to the S12K. A little bit of a hit. He might be getting dropped. He is dropped. Harsh Esports snatch it away from Four Portions. Five eliminations for them. Four portions somehow had two players knocked away and did not go for the reset. And they got uh, pummeled. And uh, finally, Danny Brown is discovered by Rykard. And that will be the end, courtesy of Aatrox. RSG back into the lobby. And bodies continue to drop here, ladies and gentlemen. The bodies continue to drop. Jesse's going crazy in the chat right now. Jesse is, is, is probably, you know, twirling his hair and kicking his feet because of the performance on Solid Army is having today. You can't even fault him, man. He has been, he has been cooking. And now on Solid Army, all that's left is a chicken dinner to crown their performance today. They have been the best performing team outside of Afro Esports today. Because Afro Esports did not play all the games. Well, outside of Afro Esports, on Solid Army have been the best performing team today. I think they, this, this performance should bump them into the uh, first half of the leaderboards. And uh, that should be a big reward coming out from them. I think uh, with that number, they should be able to do enough. Fortunately, we didn't see a lot of action from Black Mamba today. Hopefully, we'll catch them in the next couple of games coming forward. But, you know. Not uh, giving anything untoward from that performance, but military base zone, yeah, it's going to require something deep from your guts to do something special in a zone like this. Military base, come on, our dream team have the most optimal position known to man. E so does on Solid Army. They have literally the same position, but on two sides of the same coin. And of course, you can't even be wrong. It's the deal. I would believe Aatrox would play off uh, the water, you know, make a rotation from the south. If you take a look at that, Gods of War doing the exact same thing, making the water rotation, the boat in it. Should be fine. I don't think anyone should uh, stress them here. They can find a way into the map. Is this going to work? I'm, I'm intrigued. Did they get this right? Imagine parking here and you can't get up. <laughs> that would be tears, bro. Imagine parking here and you can't get find a way up. This this these graphics be like Call of Call of Duty Warzone. If you know, you know. <laughs> the graphics you're seeing right now is looking like Call of Duty Warzone. Imagine these guys can't make it up. Like, come on, man. How? You're supposed to look. Did he make it up? Did he finally make it up? Okay, I think they're going to make it up. He's, okay, he's told me yeah, this is the way. Okay, yeah, that's better. I think they're going to make it up from here. It should be fine. Running up the hill. Yeah, they should be good. Now, they don't have vehicles. That is the dangers of a uh, voltation. No vehicle in sight. But they should be fine here, Gods of War. Not having to overextend or stress too much. 
But African Legends now making their own rotation. Probably going to head over to the bridge, but they should be very careful. Aatrox is in front, and so is Dream Team. So whoever's gonna, whoever wants that smoke, now is the time to take it. There's a, a rumble in my tummy going boom, bala boom, bala boom. It means that I am hungry and that chicken dinner will loom. It's more to it than a, a little bit of an action uh, packed position here, but <laughs> you know, take a look at the guys from Trial Squad. They're making their rotation on Solid Army now. Once again, they are getting very, very angsty here. Nerd has been knocked away, but somehow they made a rotation, but he drove too close to the sun and he will be stopped dead in his tracks. Four eliminations on Solid Army. Looks, This looks like a chicken dinner performance unless afro esports gets stopped they unless they get stopped but it looks like that's about to happen now on solid army and afro esports are about to lock horns will they be able to do something here we're about to find out will afro esports be the first team to breach this bridge or will on solid army stop them dead in their tracks as well there's four bodies in the cut so you already know Solid Army have been uh, enjoying today. They have been absolutely brilliant today. You can take a look at Babalawo again, playing from behind, playing all the way up back. They must really have a lot of faith in this guy to keep him all the way up there and believe he will spray with an AUG from this distance and deal some sort of damage to any enemies that will pull up on 911's position because I believe that's the only person he can actually have a, a sideline on from, from this position. But I would love to see how this pans out, you know. Because right now, this is not a numbers advantage, right? for on solid army at all but afro esports uh they're not going to be crossing the bridge just yet Ooh, aatrox taking some serious hits there looks like fake caught them off guard jim mori catch a body there drops that one to his knees and drops him back into the lobby deep into the drink he goes but the uh, fake have a lot of uh, we a lot of uh, wayside to cover. They will have to make an advance even 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 further into the circle. It will be a big definitive process. Fake have been having a little bit of a hard time to make their rotations so far. You know, it would be very interesting if this play zone shifts up north and blesses, you know, Afro Esports or Tryout, Tryout Squad. Uh, tryout Squad might uh, be having Afro Esports run into them very soon. I believe they've heard them. I think they are aware that they are here. And they're about to wrap this up. Surely Offline has been spotted there. Yes, he has been spotted. Afro Esports are aware that the uh, tryout squad is here. Now they've made their, themselves completely known. Federal peaked out. He's hurt. He's hurt immediately there. Tryout squad now taking some serious hits. Kage pops a grenade over to the top side. That one is just by the angles there. Just by the ankle. 1,000 meters. The grenade, the, the place has moved. And if it's 1,000 meters away, that means it has moved towards military base. And look at that unsullied army, heavily blessed, smack dab in the middle of the circle, ladies and gentlemen. Now that is what we love to see. They called it out. They were ready. They were planned in. And now let's see if uh, Afro Esports can breach it without losing a body. It will take a lot from them, but let's see if they can achieve it. Kage is looking for that opening, looking for an entry. Pops the Molotov cocktail just deep. Can't seem to connect it. Grenade just through. Perfect grenade from Mersatch. And Mersatch will close that one immediately. Two bodies dropped. Afro Esports have started the hunt. 
And Trial Squad will be the first victims in the fourth map tonight. For esports, we'll have to make this rotation very, very quickly and very, very soon. Seven lost. So they have a player alive. I believe that is a Itachi. more to it than uh, what meets the eye fake just enjoying that northern uh, part of the circle have not necessarily have to move too much but they will have to find a place to call home right now gods of war are enjoying this shift they made the right rotation and they are just chilling fine but take a look at 14 gaming they are out there in nova not uh, chilling not chilling too far away from the next circle they're just inside just enjoying uh that rush, but I think the play zone will shift away from this position going further. But um, Solid Army will not have to worry at all. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, Bego is in the chat. Big Bego. Your current Nigerian Pro League champion is in the chat. Please pay some respect. Pay your dues to Bego. The NPL Season 6 champion. It's more, uh, more of an advanced position coming in from 14th game. 14th gaming have been having a riot today i think they've been quite consistent in getting themselves points i don't think they've been uh, ultimately eliminated very early i think they always find their way just to crack open into the final third of the game so you have to respect them they've been super consistent i think they were third place coming into uh, today's matches on the leaderboard i think uh, they went third place and i still think they finished you know strongly enough to maintain that third place position although i think afro esports have outperformed them today but the point this this uh, the point differences between them it's going to be a big uh, 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 it's going to be really significant you know going to the uh, final third but on solid army now who have been forced to reposition but there they did make the right call here now afro esports finally making their rotation across the bridge they were waiting for everyone to tank the blue zone and now they've made the call they've started making the moves it's going to be very interesting if something yields from this. It is phase four of the circle, but they should be fine. We'll be uh, exempting themselves from any further damage, from any further catastrophe. But here's an opportunity for them to make something of this. Can they give us a three for three like Invincibles yesterday? Dream team with five eliminations and a, a nice spot inside of the zone. It's, a, it's going to be a very hard place for them to defend, though. I would recommend them just going inside of military base, you know, just inside of that a little corner they're being held off. But it looks like Guards of War have run into the guys from African Legends. Another one bites the dust. Star looking for that opening again to pop through. As Akinze has been spotted and he is the last one left. Or African legends might need to put some points on the board for themselves as well. But Guards of War will not be letting this one slide away. As you can see, Fierce is just uh, looting up and packing up as much as he can. 14th Gaming half pulled up to the scene. I believe they heard the shots. He is here. Nice spray from Pluto Boy. But uh, the element of surprise is lost. There's only so much they can do there now. I believe they know that uh, some chaos is ensuing in that corner, but Akinze has to be very careful because Guards of War are trying to deal damage to him. They're trying to rid him of this position. It's going to take a little bit more than uh, some scare tactics, so they will have to reposition and stand in front of his uh, area. The play zone will force him out, but by what margin? He does have a vehicle if he tend, if he try, if he wants to make a run for it, but uh, 14th already have him pinned down and penned in. And Gods of War have rotated just in front of his position. I mean, he's in serious trouble now. But fortunately for him, he does have a vehicle, so he should be fine. What? Why? 
why did you stop bro just turn drive in the other direction man oh okay so he goes back into the shack yeah bro you're not making it out of here gods of war somehow have made it into the circle and now let's take a look at that circle just moves again towards the south on solid army now forced out they are still in the blue zone 411 akinze finally discovered by fear saw that one coming sooner and 411 is taking some serious blue zone damage here on solid army might uh, regret this decision later in the future and agathe will take a hit afro esports cooking them all the way out there in the northern side another one will take the duster to fall back here comes dami now trying to hold off the guys from afro esports here comes uh, the dbs from uh, Satch. Beautiful DBS straight to the head of Dami. And their esports will be sent away, packing in ninth place by Afro Esports. 14th gaming, setting their sights onto the guys from Guards of War. Send them back into the lobby as well. One after the other. But Fierce is still alive. Holds on to the southern side. 14th will discover him. Pluto Boy shuts that down immediately. Six eliminations for 14th gaming. Peaked out a little bit too much there, but here comes on Solid Army. They have all the high ground, using it to their advantage. I believe that was Babalawo shooting from the north, the top side there. It was him, and he continues to spray. Cozy Black, I believe the last player left for foul play, trying to shimmy his way into the play zone, but uh, he is under a lot of pressure here. Solid Army now, making their way into the zone. They found a way to breach through. Now we're down to seven, 16 bodies circling and percolating inside of that zone here comes the angles again from babalao he has been exceptional playing as the outside man he has been a free role player today and he has been absolutely wonderful to watch he has a vehicle so he should be fine to make the advance but cozy black he's trying to get one on him but he cannot take blue zone damage right now afro esports continue the onslaught now his dream team in their in their front and they are trying to rid themselves of Dream Team reasonably very quickly. But they've lost Daegu finally. Surely now they can deal damage onto the guys from Dream Team. But the spread is too thin. They cannot fight on two fronts at once because they're too, they're, there's just two of them. Raikada from Aatrox is still alive. Peppers the shots deep. And will catch a couple shots through. Kage circling around trying to find an angle. But Mersach falls to the zone. Afro Esports now down to just one on Solid Army. And like I said, Mabalawa would come to regret that, that decision he did make of waiting, wasting too much time outside. And here comes Fake. He spotted Kage. Tried to run away, but he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. And Afro Esports up to seven now. Dream Team down to three, but they do have five eliminations. Fake. Still alive here. 14, uh, Fake was still alive until that uh, engagement happened. And that will be the end. Who will snatch it away? Is this the chicken dinner that on Solid Army have been fighting tooth and nail for? Is it time? Can they make it happen now? Pluto Boy from 14th Gaming. Circling around. They can't seem to find a way to breach inside of the zone. But Dream Team also have them covered from the south. I think... I think Babalawu has been picked up, but Kage not letting this one slip away as well. Zero getting called out and knocked away. Archer bites the dust as well. Kage has been absolutely phenomenal. Two players from Dream Team single-handedly stopped by Kage. Afro Esports down, but not out. Smoke's already coming out. You have to respect Kage. He's absolutely phenomenal. And now he has to find a way inside of that zone, but here comes 14th Gaming. Here comes Kage, turn 7 into 8. Smokes perfectly aligned. Sprays deep, can't seem to connect the shots just yet. Kage again. Manages to make a way in. He's inside of the smoke. The use of the smokes is just brilliant. Sprays again. Kage is up to 9 this time. 6 eliminations. Praise the first. 
Braves are the same, but can't seem to connect the shots. Left hand side looking kicked up, and Sonny Darby behind him. 4 1 1 is there, sprays him deep again, tries to stop him dead in his tracks, but he can't seem to find the angles. And now it's another opportunity for on Solid Army to snatch this one away. They have all the numbers, they have every single thing in their favor. They have the play zone, they have the angles. All they have to do is hold on tight, and this is a chicken dinner for them. Beautiful spray to follow through. 4 1 1 will shut it away, and now they're up to six on Solid Army versus 14 gaming peeking out a little bit too much two three four stopped as well a beautiful spray and two three four will be sent back into the lobby now it's even steven three versus three now make that three versus two on solid army falling one after the other but babalawo is there with the aug finally he gets that gun to work and he sprays perfectly 14 gaming in trouble beautiful position to spray for 4 one one but can't seem to connect the shots headshots would have almost gone perfectly there but he falls by the wayside another opportunity for on solid army to breathe through here cannot allow for that reset it's a two versus two they do have the play zone will they allow the play zone to dictate it's going to be a big defining moment there for solid army if uh, babalawo can get that off angle onto the western side grenades coming out all over the place 4-1-1 he has been absolutely brilliant to watch in all the games he has participated in today can he top this off with a chicken dinner for solid army beautiful grenade over to the top babalawo and 4-1-1 two man step trying to hold their blickies shooting in every single direction smokes from pluto boy will he take them to pluto mania we're about to find out and now that will be the end of jay now it's a certified classic certified banger two versus two on solid army 14th gaming jesse probably has his hand on his chest right now chilling and hoping that his team does not disappoint but babalawo is there he's praying he's probably using the shrine to send the message onto the guys from 14th gaming but he doesn't have an angle he's in serious danger he's in serious trouble he has to make a rotation around here before he gets called off I hope Babalawo did not box himself in. Okay, there's there's an escape for him. He should be. Oh, what a grenade from 411. Opens the floodgates. Surely he cannot allow this reset to come through. On Solid Army, surely have this one in the bag. Sench trying to hold off. Sprays in perpetuity, but can't seem to connect the shots. Babalawo is already there. Trying to hold him off from the backside. Spray is perfect. Babalawo will seal the deal. On Solid Army chicken dinner 10 eliminations or is it nine again oh it's nine eliminations again for the solid army they still couldn't crack that 10 but what a performance this was from on solid army 14th game coming in clutch with nine as well in second place and ae after these thoughts did the absolute best that they could do in third place with nine eliminations. Big shout out to Kyle Day there. Managed to make it happen. What a performance. Green team in fourth place with five. Fake in fifth place with one. Aatrox in sixth place with three. Five place in seventh place. Gods of War in eighth place with two. Day Sports in ninth place with four. Two. Seven loss in eleventh place with three. Trial in RSG in 14th with 1, 4 portions in 15th with 1, Principal in 16th, Thorn in 17th with 1, and Gun Machine in 18th with 1. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make things happen. Unsullied Army have found themselves a chicken dinner and have ended the night in superb fashion. That performance should boost them deep into the top half of the leaderboard, but the work is not over just yet. We finished the first phase of the playoffs and now we're going to go into the second phase of the playoff. Three more days of action to bring, uh, bring it coming to you live. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Keep those numbers up. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms to get the leaderboard ready for you by this time so i'm um, your boy priest the broadcast has been exciting today i'm still not at 100 percent but i'm happy that i was able to bring you guys this content so stay tuned stay strapped it's 1080 carbon finance it's a nigerian pro league